show Dinesh D'Souza to talk about the non-stop battle, the lawfare that has been waged against him. Uh, he's been in this big court battle, which has now taken a new turn. Dinesh, good afternoon to you. Always good to see you again. How are you holding up, my friend? Uh, Dana, I'm actually doing just fine. Uh, in some senses, I'm in confinement. I, I spend the night every night at this uh, confinement center that is supervised ultimately by the Bureau of Prisons uh, under the Obama administration. Uh, I'm with 120 other guys. Uh, most of those guys have done prison sentences and are on their way back to society. I check in at night and I check out in the morning. So I'm, I'm free during the day. Uh, I can't travel outside of San Diego, which is a limitation on my speaking abilities. But of course, I can, sp I can devote that time to writing and planning my next movie. Ooh. Oh, I bet the administration can't wait for that one. I bet, I bet the Democrat Party can't wait for that one. So for those who are unaware, and, I, and, I, and Dinesh, you know, I know the circumstances surrounding your case. And, you know, I was reading this, uh, this book, Three Felonies a Day, you know, uh, where, where Americans unknowingly commit three felonies a day. Honestly, number one, I think that the charges on which were levied at you are ridiculous because it's an abridgment of speech, just for the record. Uh, and number two, it amazes me that someone like John Edwards can do what he did with millions of dollars. And he's He's still practicing law, from what I understand, and you're in a containment center, for the lack of a better way to put it, for eight months. Um, surely this has to shock you as well, although you sound incredibly upbeat right now. Well, I mean, I, uh, you know, uh, just recently I went to a class, believe it or not, it's a required class on prison rape. Uh, and they you give you wait, all whoa, kinds... Whoa, 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 you, whoa. You had to take a class on prison rape? It's kind, of a, uh, an, it's kind of an orientation type of thing, and I was very reassured to learn in that class that I have a right not to be raped. Uh, I further learned that the Obama administration has a zero-tolerance policy toward prison rape, Dana, which makes me kind of wonder what the policy was before. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's but, good, uh, at least, that they, they're against that rape. Well, I'll tell you, I, you know, at the end of the day, this is a sentence that is harsh, but yes. it's, it's, it, is, uh, it is not as harsh as the, the bullet uh, that the U.S. government was trying to put in me. They were trying to imprison me for between 10 and 16 months, and if that had happened, I would be in a federal prison camp till the end of next year. There's absolutely no way I could have made a movie in the summer of 2016, uh, and that may well have been part of their objective. Yeah, and tell me about tell me about your movie because we we know first off that you you had America Imagine a World Without Her that was the book which also was the basis for the documentary, uh, which has done incredibly well. Even though there have been a number of entities that have tried to shut it down, they don't want it they don't want it to have the appearance of even doing well. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of people very hungry for this information. Now you're working on a new project with see they gave, they don't realize what they've done to themselves, Dinesh. They they gave you all of this time to come up with a new movie. Can you give us any insight into it? Well, let me say, first of all, if I may, Dana, that mm. the, Ameri the America film is actually out today in DVD Ooh. across the country. So it's been in digital download for yep. about a week. It's currently the number two film on Amazon of all DVDs, not just documentaries, but all films. And, uh, and I think it's a real weapon for the upcoming election because, um, because midterm elections are won on turnout and on motivation. Right. Uh, and unlike 2016, which was kind of a horror film uh, with a very strange and scary character yes. as its lead, uh, a film that you may want to save for Halloween, uh, this film, America, is actually actually a, a motivational film, a patriotic film. It makes you want to do more for your country. And so even though I'm confined in San Diego, I'm hoping that your listeners and other people will help me get the message of the film out to motivate people and fire them up for the election coming up in a few days. And this, you know, when I, when I look at, at what you're, you know, you're in San Diego now, and I look at people like John Edwards walking around and all of this, do you, I don't think that it can be argued that this wasn't a political hit on you. I don't know how much you can speak to that, um, but looking at everything leading up to your confinement here in San Diego, I don't know how anyone can say that this wasn't punishment for your previous work. 
Well, here's the thing. I, you know, had that suspicion all the way through, and then when the government, this is the U.S. government, made a, a motion to the judge for my sentencing, they took a whole bunch of cases uh, and they they doctored the facts. In other words, what they did was they 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 presented to the judge these cases and basically said, look, all these guys uh, gave money in violation of the campaign limits, and all of them got prison time. But what they excluded from all the cases is all the incriminating facts where one guy had done it before. Uh, there was corruption involved in virtually all those cases. There were kickbacks. Somebody was trying to buy a mm. position on a legal board. So they were trying to con the judge into believing that it was normal to send me to... So when, once I saw that sentencing memo, I realized that these people are liars. They will do pretty much anything to get you. They don't treat their critics as people who disagree with them, but as enemies who should be run over. Yeah. I, I don't understand the importance of law if it's unequally applied at all. Are you, that's, are, been my, that's been my point from the beginning. It's not that I don't acknowledge I did something wrong. I did. It's not that I don't say I should be punished. I should be. And in fact, I'm trying to accept my sentence with the greatest uh, good graces. Part of my sentence is to teach English uh, to new immigrants. And I'm happy to do that. And I'm enjoying it. Uh, and uh, I'm also trying to um, make the best of my time, even in the confinement center. Because as a writer, if you keep your eyes open, there's all kinds of good stuff that you can uh, take note of. I have a quick question about your, your new, your, they're, at, they're asking you to teach English to immigrants. I'm assuming people who came here through the legal process. I think for the most part, although I have no way to know, this is a program run by the Catholic Church through a mm. parish and through a school. I'm kind of new at it. I've just taught a few classes. I will say the people who come there really want to learn. They really want to assimilate. They really want to get jobs and pay taxes. I like them. Uh, and of course, I enjoy, teaching, uh, I enjoy right. teaching English, which I love. What do and other people who are there with you, what, what, is their, what do they think about, uh, about your punishment? What do they think about... Um, just you're there for his, for for that. What, have there, well, what, what's their reaction? You know, there's one guy at the confinement center who noticed that when I went to New York to appear before the judge, I appeared on the Megyn Kelly show that night. So he saw me on Megyn Kelly. He was blown away. And then he sees me the next day show up at the center. So he says, oh, I work the night shift, so I watch like six hours of your videos. Anyway, wow. he's become a fire-breathing conservative. And every time you mention the word Obama, a stream of expletives now comes out of his mouth. Wow, you're converting people there. Dinesh D'Souza, always a pleasure, my friend America. Imagine a world without her. Get it on DVD. Dinesh, thank you. Thank you. Folks, back with our panel in the pit.